okay so the only road going back to mammoth mammoth hot springs to, to, to the canyon can campground is all oh, like i don't know what's going on guys but it is backed up all the way from here let me just show you what it is i don't even know i don't know what's going on but look this is my car and all the way down there it's all backed up with traffic i don't know if an accident happened or i don't know what's going on over there but we're not using the other side of the road at the same time so we could i could be here for a minute and it's hot out here, so it's not like it's cool. It is extremely hot, pushing 90 right now. So we're not going anywhere. Okay, so a driver just came by and they said it is a head-on collision. One side, one side, bam. And that's where this whole part of us being stuck here, and it's gonna be about an hour or two, maybe more. Uh, just to clear it all away because we're in Yellowstone and this is not like a free highway where it's one that can just Plop itself out here and come come clean up the mess it doesn't work out that way But this is why you're this is why it is very 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 important to go the speed limit Which is 45 and if you're going around turns go even slower than that It like if you're a little nervous about turning those corners go the speed that you want to go to which is which is extremely slow 20 miles per hour 15 miles per hour whatever it needs to be but you, the whole idea is to be safe out here and make yourself on the out of yellowstone in one piece i have like i like the turning out here i've learned uh to slow down when i was at the great smoky mountains it was way worse than this in the turning part of of how the roads were and i've my anxiety was through the roof then but i have learned to calm down and take these roads very slow and whoever's behind me is whoever's behind me it's it is what it is and i have saw one truck go around me but that was in the morning but they won't be doing that at no time like this in the in the middle of the day but in yellowstone you, you can't even pass people out here because that, that's illegal too and you will get in trouble and fined heavily if you pass people going the speed limit out here which is 45 degrees but even if like we, we can't go anywhere even if you go back the other way it's it, it's it's closed off which is um towers fall that's closed off so, we, so we're, we're pretty much stuck and if you try to go all the way back out the right like, where i came from which is the northeast entrance of the park it's you're going to be spending like a couple hours just going all the way back around to maybe go down towards cody maybe to come back into the park i don't and then go around that way to go down to old faithful way but even then it's going to take you hours so everyone is just chilling out right now everyone got their feet up kicked up chilling out and praying at this point but i'm gonna go make some food because <laughs> i'm hungry Hello. okay so we are finally moving um ranger came in so i want to see what this wreck is because it was a head-on collision so this is why you go slow but um we're moving and hopefully i will be out of this way and going to mammoth um visitor center go from there that's that that's where i wanted to go but Let's click the drive. Okay guys, I am finally back at Mammoth Hot Springs. It's I'm at the visitor center right now. Now I'm gonna give you guys a heads up on that club, uh, the, the accident. It was between a Nissan, a car, uh, and, and also an SUV. It seemed like the SUV took the brunt out of the force, but luckily it wasn't on the edge of the corner of where the accident took place because if it was between me and the cliff, I'm gonna take up the head on collision because you have at least the 80% chance that you're going to survive that hit. 
So, but when you're going around those corners, I know it's like, ooh, aisle out there of, of the scenery and everything, but you do have to pay attention when it is, um, it's packed out here. It's packed right now. Like look at Mammoth Cave right now. It is, not Mammoth Cave, <laughs> wrong one. We're gonna edit that out. Look at, um, look at the hot spring right now. It's, it's, it's packed. It is jammed, packed out here, guys. It's like, if you want to come out, I, I highly recommend coming out here early, early as you can get, get up in the morning, get those kids up at three to four o'clock in the morning. If you have to, so you can avoid all of this. It's so many people out here. It's crazy. You would think you're at an amusement park or Disney or something like that. But I highly recommend to get out here. Like me, I was out here at six, was it 630? And it was no, like barely anybody on the uh, on the Mammoth Hot Springs, the walks, and it was perfect. So I recommend, but, but, but tell you the truth, around seven, like around 7.30 to eight o'clock or 8.30, I would say, it, it started to get packed with people. So if you want to come out here where there's like barely anybody, five o'clock in the morning, that's 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 where you're coming at and so you can avoid all of this but let's go to the visitor center of mammoth house Burn. Bison is the largest land mammal in North America. Stand next to this bison and see, oh wow. Uh, I'm like right four nine. Okay, we already know my height is, but that's it. And, and bison, especially bulls, can weigh, here, here was the thing we're talking about. See, a bison can weigh oh, a ton or two ton, two pound, 2,000 pounds. Cows weigh about half as much as a bull. But when I was out there watching a lot of the the bulls, the males, yeah, you, you have to be careful of the young ones, the young males. They were really aggressive. Like it was one male that was really aggressive towards uh, challenging a car and ran back, and then he ran with the pack of the males, the other two males. Uh, when I was at the Lamar Valley, so that's something you gotta be careful about. See, I'm looking for a big horn sheep. I'm not sure where the location is. I can't look it up on my phone where I could probably see a big a big horn sheep, but I know they're up at the top of a, a mountain of something. I will be amazed to see a mountain lion, but they're not gonna be on the road. It is a bear den. Here's the black bear, of course it's huge. And then got a mountain lion. Now hopefully I can see 
uh, gray wolf. Hopefully I can see that soon. And then we got a great horned owl. See, this is a fox, and this is a wolf. A river otter. Don't be fooled. River otters are very dangerous. <laughs> That's a red fox. This is what I've been seeing, a uh, black-billed magpie. I've been seeing that one. Yeah, it's been the elk. American beaver, that'd be cool to see American beaver. Uh, Yellowstone cutthroat trout. You see there at the bottom. And this is a coyote, coyote, and this is the elk. Of course, coyotes are. I actually saw a coyote um, at the Great Smoky Mountains just randomly at night, at 8 o'clock. Leech chipmunk. They're missing yeah, the big, big horn sheep. A pine martin. I think I may have saw a pine martin. Ooh, and be the bald eagle. We saw that one up at Lamar Valley. Now that was pretty, that was very unexpected. Mammoth Hot Spring. There's a lot of elk here, but be respectful. Do not get close. I mean, it's kind of hard to really pretty much not get close to them because they just, they just walk it up and they don't really care. They, I mean, they do care, but they don't really mind all the traffic. And I think, I think a certain types of elk don't mind hanging out and about and chilling out here. That, the elk said oh, that was all the way up there. They were very skittish with just one person, like me, like was near them. And they were like, oh my God, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> so, but these guys, I think at, at Hot Spring, they do not care, they're chill, but be respectful and do not come near them. Um, Cause some people are just need to get slapped out here. I'm just calling like I see it. 
This is all right by the visitor center. Just just to give you a heads up of where these these Alps are at. I think majority of them are fem um, are females. Cause I don't see one with one in any antlers. I know the males and I, I I don't know. They probably ain't gonna have none of that. <laughs> See, they, people were right over there, right next to the elk. You cannot, they don't want you to be anywhere in the middle. Stay yourselves away from that. Let them be. Because I'll tell you right now, if an elk hits somebody, I'm going to crack up. I'm like, well, see, that's what you get. I'm rooting for the elk. 100%, just like a bison. I'm rooting for the bison. Trust me. Life in the fork. During the season, June, July, August, September, life at the post was always busy with, with fire patrol guarding the thermal features, flirting with the maids of the hotels and camps and going to dances. There were sports as well. Baseball was viewed as the national prime time and games were played with tourists to cheer the, the soldiers on. Get the ice. <laughs> it's a weird one. Yeah, but I mean, it takes dollar bill. I know, that sucks, right? Yeah. Okay, so I talked to the ranger at the Mammoth Visitor Center and she said around six o'clock, six to seven, you, I should be able to see at the, going towards Garner, which is, like, which is pretty much going towards um, Roosevelt, uh, Roosevelt Arc. In, in this section right there, she said, if you look to um, my, our, our right, I should be able to see some um, bighorn sheep. So that's where I'm gonna go right now. She said 6 p.m., not 6 a.m. I was like, I asked something, is it 6 a.m.? She said, no, 6 p.m. Let's go around this area. Because what happens is the the, um, the, the, sh the bighorn sheep come down from the mountain and they come to drink some, some fresh water from the heat and then they go back up. So I'm gonna see if I can see them around like right now and go from there. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping I will get blessed today. Okay, so they said they saw them like all the way up in the mountain right there. I'm going to try to hike it so I can get a better view over this mountain over here and see if there's any bighorn, bighorn sheep that way before I go back and bring out my telescope because it's, 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 it's a heavy setup and when I bring that out, but I'm going to see um, if that is where they're at over this hill and if i can see them if i can see them but apparently they come down they can either come down the stream and they drink some water and go back but some people said that they seen them around this time around seven seven o'clock close to eight o'clock and they said some of them were just wrote they just went on the road and they went down so it's it's just like 
it's it's in the moment of when when, when you're going to see any ammo at this point but i'm going to go and see what i can see This is what it looks like over top of the hill. I don't see anything of big horn sheep. But if they were, they'll probably be up here. If you keep going that way, you're right at the the Roosevelt Arch. It's backed up on the line right now. That's where that'll be. Let's keep on going, but there's like big grasshoppers out here, so if you're a little bit, but they will get out your way. This is nice of them. You know, I'm invading on their territory. 100% would recommend long wearing some pants. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. I'm trying to look for like any type of movement out here. conclude our video today um, I would say be persistent when trying to find the the particular animals that you are trying to find in Yellowstone National Park now this bighorn sheep was a kind of like a group effort um, because I was with some people and they were looking for bighorn sheep so that's why I was like all up in the hill trying to find them so we were all trying to like collaborate and trying to find these bighorn sheep that were down at the river and the ranger was right they were by down at the river but they were at a little bit of a a different location which was, which was a little bit further up um going towards mammoth cave uh, mammoth hot spring i don't know why i keep saying mammoth cave because it just sounds familiar but going towards mammoth hot spring and if you actually are if you see like this um this type of orange um type of uh, uh of what do you call them like um steel steel type of like beams they're kind of like on this on this particular wall and they're kind of orange. You can't miss them if you're going up to Mammoth Hot Spring. And right there, there's a little spot where you can pretty much um, a look like a little lookout spot right there. And you can look down at the river and they are more there at this particular spot by the river. So that's where I saw them. And like I said, it was a group effort in trying to find the bighorn sheep, which was they came down because it's like it's really extremely hot in July. Um, so they, they come down like around six, seven o'clock, exactly what the ranger said, and, you know, get some sip of water. And then, they, you know, they, the, the babies were treat, they were just, you know, doing their own thing, a little thing out there and they were just running around and you kind of actually see how the babies survive on the, the, the rocks and everything, which was, that was one of my thing. I was like, I thought they were going to fall, but they were just pros out there. You know, big horse sheep are, are very, 
um, effective climbing up on the rocks and the hills and stuff like that. So it was very a, a good treat for you to see that and how they, you know, adapt and survive out there. So um, I would like to say uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Please keep subscribing to Coast Guy Adventures. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook so you can get all the latest information of Yellowstone or any national park or pretty much what I'm doing um, going into the season of much I'm, I'm starting to try to do the seasons more in the summertime because i uh, winter time for me in these parks is just, it's a no it's a no go no go because my car is not suited to survive any of those elements so i try to keep it in the summertime information in the summertime for you guys as much as possible because that's pretty much the time that we all travel out here to these national parks so i will see you guys later and subscribe 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 subscribe